Skytrain was founded in 1966 by Sir Freddie Laker, who envisioned a low-cost, no-frills, no-reservation service, which he felt would revolutionise air travel. Before Laker's Skytrain, National Airlines enjoyed wide profit margins, as prices were openly agreed by the carriers themselves, then signed into law by the British government. Airlines that tried to lower ticket prices to attract business had actually been fined by the government. Laker wanted to challenge this, and after an expensive six-year legal battle that went all the way to Britain's High Court, run the right to operate on the lucrative New York to London routes. On September 26, 1977, the first Skytrain flew between London and New York. Return tickets cost £135 each, almost £230 less than fares charged by the major carriers. To further keep costs low, Laker charged for almost every convenience. Breakfast, for example, cost hungry passengers 75 pence extra. Skytrain was an unqualified success, with over 50,000 passengers choosing this airline in the first full year of operation. A veteran of the airline business, Skytrain was Laker's third attempt. Sir Freddy rapidly expanded, and by 1981 Skytrain was flying heavily laden aircraft to destinations such as Los Angeles, Miami and Tampa. So given the high demand and low cost structure, what went wrong? How did the Pioneer and the discount airline concept crash and burn? The answer is simple. Sir Freddie didn't hedge his bets, but let's now take a deeper look at Skytrain.